for this problem, you need to know a property of the continuous function that you can exchange the limits. So let's see where we will use that. Let x not equals to zero. So I'm excluding this case because then it becomes f of zero. So for any natural number n greater than equals to one, where n is a natural number, we let t to be equals to ln n. And this is greater than equals to zero, as you know, since a n is a natural number. Then what happens is, if you look at f of x over n, then this becomes nothing but e to the power t x over n. And now just put the value of t so you get n. Uh, so e to the power ln n is n and get x over n. And that is nothing but f of x. Now, taking the limit of n tending towards infinity and using the continuity of f, because we have been given a continuous function, so let's use the continuity of it. So, f of limit n tends to infinity x over n, that is nothing but f of 0. And this is equals to, so we can take out the limit outside, and this becomes limit n tends to infinity f of x over n, and that is nothing but limit n tends to infinity f of x, and since this is independent of n, so this limit is equals to f of x. So we see that f of x is equals to f of 0 for all x in R. And so this implies that f is a constant function.